All right, well, we're pulling stuff out of the corner over here. I got the stereo over here going with the uh, the XM radio. Man, this thing sounds good. These things run hot, though. Um, a lot of these burn out. I do not remember, but I think this is like uh, 125 watts a channel or something ridiculous. And... What I've generally found is the receivers from the 80s and 90s um, put out considerably more power than something similarly rated more recent. So these speakers here, um, I don't know if we could actually like pull the covers off, but anyway, I'm not going to worry about that. So this is a bummer that I don't really need this welder because this is a nice welder. It's uh, from the 90s. <clears throat> um, I found it on Craigslist. And the lady was selling her husband's stuff, and um, it had a cord cut off of it. And so, uh, I don't remember what the story was, but I picked it up for really cheap. So, when I was a kid, my dad had one of these laying out in the front yard in Washington, in the rain. But I remember looking at it, it had a chart like this on it. And I think his was the one with the crank on the front of it. We would call it a ideal arc or something like that. Um, but these are like they're good as long as you get the DC one because I refuse to weld with AC. I hate welding with AC. Look at all this stuff back here. Uh, if I ever buy a pressure washer, well, I probably won't use that, will I? Some more stuff I need to get rid of. I've got another pressure washer hose here. Um, I've got a pressure washer out front. It could be repaired. I just don't know. Do I really need to worry about it? And all this other crap back here. So... Um, basically, we're going to put the welder back here in the corner, and I probably shouldn't just drag that out of here, because now it's in my way. Anyway, we shall be back. All right, I'm not sure that I really like this. So, um, we got a limitation as far as how close we can get to things back here, just because the stuff catches on things. Um, but I roll up the door, 
I can put this here. Uh, I'm probably put that back there because it's all metal. And the chances of the hot exhaust down here doing something bad ain't really uh, an issue. Um, I mean, I could put the other welder here too. It's not that big of a welder. Um, but I, I, I could put it under the table here too. Um, the fact that I'm probably never going to use it, it means I probably should sell it. But if this one broke, I wouldn't have an arc welder. So, um, other than I do have a little metal man inverter one that's really only capable of really small rods. Um, which is great if I needed something for remote access that could run on 120 volts, but there's no substitute for a 240 volt welder. So anyway, um, it kind of looks funny with the diesel heater here and the wire feed. It's like, uh, it looks like another damn welder, doesn't it? I swear the same company makes these make welders. You know, you go look on, uh, you look on uh, Amazon and eBay, what's that name of that company that sells all those, the Yes Welder or whatever, <laughs> all the uh, different ones. So um, I'm thinking maybe i put this, uh, this bench grinder back here um, and then put the welder right here in front. I don't know. Just get it out of the way. Um, it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm not going to have any reason to use this space down here for anything else. Although, I like to keep these areas kind of open to deter mice and rodents from doing things in here. We've already got enough problems, but um, they love, you know, areas like that. I, I don't really know that I like this toolbox over here. I thought, actually, I kind of liked it when it was over here a little bit better because I already have all this other crap in the middle of the room. But I guess we'll leave this here for a while. I mean, still have quite the mess, but, you know, I'm just making small progress. So, um, I gotta figure out what to do with that damn thing. It was a shelf out of something else, so, um, not sure at this point. Let's see how our print is going. So, when I slice the print, on here, it does a little bit different. Um, I'm noticing more stringing with this filament than the other stuff, which is kind of interesting. Um, but the other print was doing uh, big square stuff, sliced it up differently. Even though I use the same slicer, that's kind of strange. Um, yeah, I don't know if I maybe need to change my Temperature. I'm looking to see if I'm getting um, shrink on the corners. I usually get over here. Anyway, um, that's been printing for an hour and 54 minutes. It's 25% done. I mean, this thing works really, really good. It's just not like Speed Demon. I can turn it up to print faster. Um, I don't. I don't know what I have it at. Probably 50, 50 millimeters a second. So it's, you know, what you would print with the CR-10. So anyway, that's the uh, the update of the moving and shuffling of stuff around. I'm going to do a few more things. I, I may just pull that back out and put it over here. Um, I don't know. If I, if I did do that, I might actually be able to um, put something else over here instead, like one of my service carts. This uh, service cart would be in a better position somewhere else where I could actually open the lid. Um, but I, I can't. I can't do anything with it right here. Man. Every time I look at that thing, I think I, I should be fixing cars for a living still. But I really uh, just got so burned out on doing that. And I don't know, man. You end up always having to buy tools. And there's always somebody that's faster. And they just don't pay that good. Not here. In Arizona. So. Anyway. 
Uh, I'm not sure that I want this back here. I kind of liked it over here because I could have stuff going on over here. I could reach over, get into the toolbox, which was right over here. So, uh, I don't really care about the middle of the room in here. I'm not, like, setting up a drum set, so, <laughs> you know, no big deal.